welcome to the second episode of Contains 10% Ethanol. Yesterday I was trying to upload the video, and if you saw the little like technical difficulties thing, uh, it got stuck at 23% and then it never went anywhere, it just kind of sat in weird, creepy YouTube purgatory. So that's the thing, and so now I had to recut it because I lost on my laptop, it didn't save. Long story short, here's a second video for you. Uh, I also want to first off say thank you to the 7 subscribers, and my video reached like 75 views. So awesome, thumbs up for that. It means a lot to me to know that uh, I'm reaching some people. So again, thank you, and thanks for sticking around for episode two. Now with episode two, I'm gonna be talking about therapy. And with the whole idea behind therapy, a lot of people think talking makes you weak, or it's not okay to talk, and by talking you burden others with your problems. And, and that's not true at all. It's Fantastic to talk. You should talk. I talk. So I'm doing it right now. I'm talking to you because I want you to know that talking and therapy aren't a bad thing. It's it's a great thing. Now, with finding a therapist that you like or fits how you know you're gonna talk to them about your issues or what have you, it's like finding a nice pair of pants. You know, you go around, you're trying to find the pair of pants that fits best, and like some are too short, some are too long. And when you find the pair of pants that fits, you're like, yes, these are awesome. I love these pants. And that's how you should feel with finding a therapist that fits. You know, you're going to try different therapists and, you know, you might not like one. One might be a dick. One might not understand you well enough. And when you find the right therapist to talk, it's going to be great. It's going to be amazing. It took me five therapists to find the one that I liked the most. And about probably two, three years, because I went to one for a while, really wasn't feeling it, went to another one, and bounced around. And, uh, you know, I found a therapist that worked the best, and it was, it was great. I've been going to therapy f on and off for, like, eight years. So find that therapist that fits and talk to him. You know, you don't have to walk in and pour out your feelings to him. You can just walk in and tell him about your day. Tell them about, you know, a little bit about you. You don't even have to talk. They're there to help you. And they're there to help you understand you. And when what I learned from therapy was a lot about myself, like my vices with how I deal with my depression. You know, whether it be putting my penis in anything that had a heartbeat, drinking, smoking, reckless behavior, sleeping a lot. It's just, and talking to them helped me understand those vices so when those vices started coming back and kind of poking me in the face, being like, hey, you want to be sad again? I was able to step back and really just look at what they were and how to handle them. I, I saw what my vices were, and I just backtracked. And it helped me see those vices and get away from them and be happy and realize who I was. And it took a while, but I figured out really who I am today. And also with therapy... You know, like I said, bouncing around is going to be tough, but if you're in high school or in some sort of school setting, take advantage of those free therapy sessions. I know at my high school, I would go to my, my guidance counselor all the time. I had a little pass, a little coupon that said, Ethan can go to the guidance counselor whenever, and I would just go. I would just go and talk to her. I used it more than I should have, but I went and I talked to her for, you know, for however long I needed. And with, in college... It was great. I didn't have to pay for, you know, the sessions, and I would just walk in, make an appointment, and I would sit down and talk to them. So take advantage of those free therapy sessions, and like I said, you don't have to talk. You can just sit there and play a board game with them. You can stare at them awkwardly in the eyes and just do that thing. But take advantage of those free therapy things. I cannot emphasize enough to take advantage of the free therapy sessions, and talking does not make you weak. Talking helps you understand who you are, helps you communicate, and helps others communicate with you. We as humans need to communicate. Now, there's a lot more I can talk about with therapy, but I'm trying to keep this short and sweet. If uh, you want to know anything about me, ask me any questions about therapy, or have any tidbits about what to do for the next video, down below I put my email for this YouTube page, and if you want, email me some questions, email me some things you think I should talk about. I got my Tumblr, my Twitter, if you want to kind of keep in touch on social media, that's a thing. And uh, I will see you next episode. So thank you for watching. And don't forget, you are not alone. 
and just going to tie it off with therapy. Talking does not make you weak. Bye. Come over here now.